The Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo has to be one of, if not the most popular, budget CPU cooler of all time. Back in the days when both Intel and AMD included crappy units in the box, it was a given that you'd throw that away and ditch it for something a little bit better. Today, Cooler Master are back at it again with their Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition, a fantastic remaster or simply a bit of a rip-off. Let's dive in and take a look. It wouldn't be overly disingenuous of me to suggest that Cooler Master have taken advantage of the 212's positive reputation. Not only did we have the 212, the 212 Evo, the 212X, the 212X with a double fan, the Hyper 212 LED, the Hyper 212 LED Turbo, the Master Air Pro 4 which was basically a 212 but with like a black top plate and a redesigned fan. Which begs the question, has this lineup simply been taken too far? Cooler Master obviously think not and have subsequently added three new products to the lineup. Not only do we have the 212 RGB Black Edition, we have the non RGB 212 Black Edition, and then a Phantom Gaming version, which is essentially ASRock's sort of competitor to the Asus Tough Gaming Alliance, just rebranded and sort of made in partnership with brands such as Cooler Master, uh, for example. I could quite easily sit here for the next five minutes and push you a load of marketing jargon off Cooler Master's website. A pressure optimised 120mm fan, four direct contact copper heat pipes for effective cooling, etc, etc, etc. But it would be pointless because it's all stuff we saw in the original Hyper 212 Evo. All this version really does is change the aesthetics and that's not necessarily a bad thing. The biggest complaint about the Hyper 212 Evo in the modern sort of PC building climate is actually the design. The copper heat pipes and silver heat sink might have looked pretty fly a few years ago, but nowadays that's not fitting nicely in any system. The 212 Black Edition basically takes a nickel plated approach to everything from the heat sink to the copper heat pipes, uh, the plate that sits on top of your CPU, even the fan, everything has been blacked out and I think it looks really, really good. You also get Cooler Master's very latest 120mm pressure optimised fan design with a nice amount of rubber dampening and a universal 4-pin analog RGB header, which I love to see. It means you can plug it up to an Asus, MSI, ASRock motherboard and sync it with all your other components such as RAM and graphics cards quite easily. Cooler Master do also include uh, a standalone controller, so if your motherboard isn't one of the latest models you don't have to worry, big win here. The direct contact copper heat pipes that I alluded to rather quickly earlier also work very nicely. They take the heat directly from the actual heat spreader on your CPU uh, into the heat sink to be dissipated and actively cooled by your fan. I must admit, I really do like how Cooler Master have blacked out every element of this cooler, not just shoved a black top plate and a black fan on, which they easily could have done, and it looks a thousand times better because of it. One thing I like a little more than the design though is the price point. You can pick this up for around $10 more than the 212 Evo currently sits, though up to date pricing for Amazon for different regions will be in the description below. You can even get this without the RGB fan if you want that blacked out aesthetic with 212-esque performance for around the same price as the 212 Evo and that makes it a really good pick. I think if Cooler Master knocked the price down on this unit just a little bit more, we could see a true Hyper 212 renaissance, if you will, and push it down a little bit more and it's an easily justifiable pickup for even an AMD APU build instead of that AMD stock cooler that, according to Wikipedia, Cooler Master also happened to make, apparently. On that note, I think that just about wraps up today's video. If you did enjoy it, give it a big old like rate and get subscribed if you aren't already and join the notification squad so you never miss another video. If you want to pick up anything mentioned, it will be linked in the description below. But as always, we'll see you in the next Geekawatt video.